Hello everyone and let's check out another exciting chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game, why it is Boris Spassky and his opponent is Nakim Rashkovsky. And this game was played in 1973 in the USSR Chess Championship and Spassky won the tournament with an overwhelming score. It was an easy victory for Boris Spassky. And at this time, Boris Spassky lost his title to Bobby Fischer. But still, Spassky was a formidable force in the chess world. And for the records, in the USSR Chess Championship in 1973, the second place was Anatoly Karpov. And the third place was Tigran Petrosian. And let's check out how this game went on. Boris Spassky starts the game with playing e4, the Sicilian defense, c5, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6 by black, the knight drop variation, bishop to g5, e6, f4 by Spassky, queen to c7 by Rachkovsky, bishop to d3, a black plate, knight from b to d7, queen to e2, b5, and Spassky castled from the queen side, bishop to b7, rook from h to e1, centralizing the rook, bishop to e7, e5, exchanging the pawns, and finally knight to d5, attacking the knight, and at the same time, attacking the bishop, what now? Well, Boris Spassky captured the bishop, bishop takes on e7, and leaving the knight, knight takes on c3, and allowing to damage the pawn structure, and creating weakness in the king side. Well, this is also attacking the queen and the rook, what now? Well, Boris Spassky didn't capture the knight, and he played an unbelievable move. Well, Boris Spassky played queen to g4. What an unbelievable move by Boris Spassky. And Black happily captured the rook. Knight takes on d1. And what is the follow-up? If capturing back the knight, then king takes bishop. And there is nothing special. Well, Boris Spassky didn't capture the knight. He played the second unbelievable move. He sacrificed his knight. Knight takes on e6 by Spassky. And Black was suspicious and worried in this position, and he defended his queen, not capturing the knight. What happens if capturing the knight? Then first bishop to d6, and Black must defend the queen, and queen takes pawn, check, king to d8, and rook takes on d1. Actually, Black is surviving. For the computer engine, this is 50-50, but White has lots of attacking opportunities. As you can see, the king is in the center and not safe at all. White has lots of attacking chances. So Boris Spassky sacrificed his knight. Knight takes on e6, but defending the queen. And knight takes on g7, check. The only move, king takes on e7, and queen to g5, check. Blocking, capturing the pawn, double check. King to d8 f7, let's check again, defending the king, Boris Spassky played a move, and black resigned. Can you guess that move? Well, Spassky simply played queen to f4, that's check, and there is no defense. Well, basically, there is for about four alternatives for black, and all of them is losing for Rashkovsky. And let me show you all of them, if blocking with the queen, well, this was actually one of the worst moves. Then knight to e6, check. And actually winning the queen by force. After bishop to e4, moving the king and losing the queen. What happens if king to d8 or king to c8? It doesn't matter. Then rook to e8, check. Rook takes and capturing back the rook with queening, check, mate. Finally, let's say king to b6, the most sensible defense, but then rook to e6, 
Yani winning the queen again. World again. By Boris Spassky. This is why, after queen to effort, black resigned. What an aggressive, beautiful attacking chess game by Spassky. Although it was risky, Spassky gambled against his opponent. But obviously he was having fun. And finally, he has managed to defeat his opponent. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.